Hello, everyone. Welcome to Prague and welcome to DevCon 4. And um, for those of you who haven't met me, my name is Aya Miyaguchi. I am executive director of the Ethereum Foundation. I have been to past DevCons in Shanghai and also in Cancun last year, but this one feels special um, as this is the first time as an organizer. And I'm excited to see a lot of familiar faces and also excited to meet new people. We tried our best to welcome new members of the community to this DevCon this year. And um, you may have attended various Ethereum events throughout uh, like the year in the world. And you, if you have heard my talks, you probably know I have sh uh, spent this year sharing my thoughts on the values and philosophy of Ethereum and the foundation. And to kick off the day one of DevCon 4, I'd like to share a summary of the thoughts. For some background, um, I've been in the crypto industry officially since 2013, and my original interest in blockchain was its potential um, to empower the, empower the powerless, underserved, and also restore the balance that society has lost. And through my experience, I also learned the biggest obstacle of the blockchain success is not necessarily in the implementation, but overcoming the existing systems and people's mindset. For so many people, blockchain was an, an idea to be feared, mainly because it was poorly understood so I ended up spending a lot of time filling those gaps, but also um, on education. And then Ethereum was born. And I felt that this, this Ethereum represented hope. What I liked about Ethereum originally was how it embraced the spirit of Kaizen. So you, you probably have heard about this word, and this is often used for assembly line or supply chain, but it simply, the word simply means a continuous change for better improvements. And I think that's exactly how Ethereum was created by Vitalik Buterin, and also how it has evolved. And you will see here about those improvements in uh, the next Vitalik's talk about ETH 2.0, and also from many speakers at this DevCon. Every time when I learn about new project in crypto, I think about two things. One is technology, and the other is philosophy. Technology can change the world, but I believe it's philosophy that moves people to try to improve. And also, um, philosophy is what guides us toward the right direction. And without philosophy, the tool cannot change the world. And lately, I have had chances to speak with visionaries and heroes of the early days of the internet. And increasingly, I feel that the internet was created for the freedom of people's activities, voice, and rights. However, we have also seen how the internet has contributed toward more centralized systems, in, especially in the past few years. This is why we need to be cautious as an industry, blockchain could create intentionally or unintentionally more centralized systems under the name of decentralization. So, as I said, Ethereum offers hope with its huge technical 
um, potential, but I also believe even more so for its well-intentioned philosophies and its people who continuously try to improve this. And we are lucky to have uh, this growing community, but we also have a new challenge to maintain our philosophies and the culture. And this is exactly why I envision this DevCon to be a strong opportunity for us to think not just about what and how we are building, but about why. This is an opportunity for us to remind ourselves why we are working on Ethereum and share our philosophies and visions with people around us. And there's also a lot we can learn from the heroes of the internet, many of whom share our philosophy and mission. And it is also very important now for us to learn from our kindred spirit outside of crypto as well. For that, in addition to tech and research talks and discussions, this year we have great list of inspiring speakers. We have Stuart Brand from the Long Down Foundation, Brewster Kell from the Internet Archive, Glenn Well of the book Radical Market, Casper Kojus from the Estonian government, and also Collie Doctor, a cipher author and activist. And I also would like to mention the city of Prague is perfect for this year's DevCon. Many times in history, this city has lost its identity and um, its voice, and also was controlled by centralized, power, centralized powers. It was Habsburg for many years, and the Nazis during the World War II, and most importantly, during the Cold War, the public actually believed that this city could be the model of communism ideologies and lost its freedom again. With the spirit of Kaizen, I like to believe we can always learn from the history, and we can do so by being in this beautiful city, but also we can learn from people in the city and how they have achieved their freedom back again. Let me talk about the foundation for a little bit. Um, I joined the foundation early this year, and it's been a thrilling experience. When I joined, there was natural request and pressure to make the foundation more into corporate or startup way. And then I thought about what Ethereum was all about, and also spoke with a lot of people in the community. And also, of course, spoke with Vitalik, who was the big influence on this. Um, and then somehow it put me into this like very zen state of mind, and I thought about my roots and why I decided to support Ethereum, and then I realized these are all related. What felt most right to me was this principle of subtraction. In this today's society, we are programmed to value addition. And then the society has trained us to believe that the more is better, the bigger is better. But this addition has dark sides. More people comes at the cost of more resources, more money comes at the cost of exploiting human, and more power comes at the cost of human inequality. When we add Thoughtlessly, we create imbalance in the world. This is why we have to increasingly think about this philosophy of subtraction, pursuing decentralization. 
and also when we are building this ecosystem and also making decisions to build an organization. And this philosophy is not really new to me. In Japan, we have this expression called hikizan no bigaku, which literally means beauty in subtraction. And it's deeply rooted in Zen Buddhism. It's similar to minimalism, but not quite the same. Subtraction allows ideas, taste, or strengths to exist in their purest form. The idea is used in food, martial arts, design, everywhere, and you can also find this idea in the Western culture too. And I believe this community would understand this, and one of the reasons why this open source project has attracted this many of people, and one of the reasons why I wanted to support Ethereum. So going back to how to build the foundation, building it in a corporate or startup structure didn't feel right. Um, these can be quite different. One is in more hierarchy structure and the other can be flat, but both aim to grow bigger, add more. At the Ethereum Foundation, we actually um, aim to grow small. That doesn't mean we are not hiring, but hiring should be where only the foundation can do. And we try to minimize our power wherever we can as much as possible because what we want to grow is the entire ecosystem, um, not just the Ethereum Foundation. So as the community grows and then as the industry grows, naturally we can be tiny part of it. And we see the entire Ethereum ecosystem like a constellation. In this constellation, there are developers, researchers, uh, enterprises, and then different stars create different shapes, and then um, it's, the shapes can be different depending on what we are improving, scaling, security, UX, uh, privacy, or like who is affected, end user, the apps, government, enterprises, or nonprofits. Each group and individual is connected by their work, solution, and impact. And the foundation is the one who tries to coordinate these collaboration and collaborations and communications between those stars and empower them where we can by either directly funding them or connecting with other stars. I would also like to mention there are many hidden stars. You probably, most of the time you hear big public names, but the more I learned about this community, I believe like there are many hidden stars who are critical to maintain this decentralized structure. And then um, most of the time they don't want to be public, but, um, you know, like these hidden stars are inevitable. Without them, we can't connect these dots. And speaking of empowering, um, one of our main activities is giving grants. And uh, this year, we have provided uh, about 20 million US dollar amount of grants to more than 70 individuals and organizations. And we invited them to DevCon, and probably you saw some of them at uh, Grantee Showcase. If you, like, like, we invited them so that you can talk to them, and then you can ask their experience. And we would like to continue, continue doing this. Hopefully, uh, more, more quicker. And also, how we 
Gib Glant is in the decentralized way. This is uh, something like people, a lot, not many people know. We work with actual community members to identify what are the missing pieces in the development and research work. And then we actually work with community members to decide on who should work on these missing pieces. And also we work with community members to fund together or sometimes let them fund directory. So there are many funding mechanisms ex existing in the ecosystem, and we do not care where the money is from, as long as we are making, creating um, positive impact. And it looks a little chaotic now, but in order for us to maximize our impact, this is, at this, at this moment, this is uh, where we are at, and we are trying to organize and coordinate better, but uh, that, that's what we chose to do. Okay, lastly, I would like to give special thank you to the city of Plague. Um, other than offering this beautiful city and place, the city is providing uh, the free transportation to DevCon attendee during DevCon time. So thank you. Thank you to that. Oh. What did I do? Sorry. Anyway, oh, it's okay. <laughs> and also, I have to mention that um, um, there are many volunteers from the city, community members. I, I don't know if they can be here, but the community members here have been really supportive and helping throughout the entire time since we decided on the city. Um, and that I like to give big thanks to those people, thank you very much. And then, Joseph. Joseph is the leader of the community members and he's going to come on the stage in a minute. Um, but, so, um, to close this, I like to encourage you to explore this beautiful city of Plague as much as possible, but also fully explore DevCon and then get to know each other and then share your values and philosophies uh, with others and enjoy the event. Thank you very much.